Hey everyone, this is Eric from Cosmic Tavern. Today I'm going to be looking at the Summoner Wars 2nd Edition Starter Set with the Tundra Orcs versus Phoenix Elves. This just showed up today, so let's take a look and see what's inside. So we have the rule book. and glossary in the back. Then we have a paper board. Let's take a look at this. If you have the master set, you get a much nicer board, but this will work. So on the board you have your draw pile, then you have a turn summary here, which is nice. Uh, the magic that you'll have during the game, and the discard pile. The board you get with the master set is a lot better, so if you like this game I'd probably recommend you pick that up, or they also have a playmat on the Plat Hat Games website. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. We have some tokens. So we have two token sheets. Uh, we have damage markers, boost tokens, and these track your magic. Same on both sides. Then we have eight dice. You've got your melee attacks, uh, ranged, and then the special marker here. And now for the two decks inside. The Tundra Orcs and the Phoenix Elves. Let's take a look at the Phoenix Elves first. So here we have the Summoner. Seems like boosts are used a lot more in the second edition than they were in the first edition. Then we have the champion, another champion, and the last champion here. Common units, Ember Mage. Royal Guardian. I wasn't sure at first if I like this new art style better than the original art style, but I think the more cards that I see, the more I like the new style. Ember Beast Common Unit. And the Ember Archer. And now we have the events. I like how each event now has its own custom artwork. Burn event. Divine retribution event. And epic event. When the ability of a friendly unit adds damage to an enemy unit without attacking it, the ability adds one more damage. That seems pretty good. And then we have the four gates. So let's take a look at the Tundra Orcs. A lot of these units have so much more health than the original summoners in the first edition. The Tundra Orcs from the first edition were one of my favorite factions. I loved how you can summon all the small little ice walls. I like this ability. When a friendly unit within three spaces of this unit rolls dice for an attack or ability during your turn, you may spend one boost to re-roll all of those dice. That seems like that would be a lot of fun. 
Okay, and then we have the champion units, Ragnar. Second champion. Attacks up to four spaces away. That's nice. Friendly adjacent frost units have one strength. Then we have the last champion. Wow, he's got an eight attack. And add one damage to the target for each special rolled. Frost Shaman. Wow, a lot of Frost Shamans. And the Smasher. Tundra Charger. Tundra Fighter. And then we have the standard events. Target an unboosted common champion within three spaces of your summoner. The target has no abilities and cannot move, attack, be targeted by an attack, or be forced. That seems pretty useful. Brutal Force, standard event, can push units. Primal Fury, standard event. And now the epic event for glory. Friendly commons have this ability. This unit has plus two strength. When this unit attacks, if zero or one special are rolled, when adding damage to the target, add the same number of damage to this unit. Okay, so that could be good or bad, depending on your rolls. And then we have the four gates. And then we have two extra cards at the bottom. You get these two promo cards if you buy the first printing of this starter set. So we have Con Queso. I remember him from the first edition. He costs 4 magic points, he has 6 health. Plague. After this unit moves, roll 2 dice. Add damage to each adjacent unit equal to the number of special rolled. Bread. Any unit that starts its move adjacent to this unit has plague until the end of the turn. Yeah, I don't know what plague is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. I looked in the rulebook, but it doesn't have an entry in the glossary. So now let's take a look at the last card. I believe this is a completely new card. I don't remember this from the first edition. Uh, Black Saber, one magic point, five health. Treacherous, at the start of your opponent's turn, they may spend two magic to take control of this unit. Okay, that's interesting. So it's, it's cheap to put out, but if your opponent has a lot of magic points, you might not want to put it out. So that's everything you get in Summoner Wars Tundra Orcs vs. Phoenix Elves. I'm definitely looking forward to the next packs that come out. I like the Tundra Orcs and the Phoenix Elves in the first edition, and I like a lot of the other factions that were in the first edition, but I hope that we get a lot of brand new factions coming up. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing, and thanks for watching.